Hey y'all. I went overboard. I'm gonna try it again. Keep it within 15 minutes. All right, let's get this going. I haven't been get myself able to cord. So I'm for the last three days of February. I'm gonna try to record all the stuff I want to do this month. I might have to change it around, but I'm hoping to get it done. Show you what and all I have been doing January, February. I won't able to show you all of it because it's kind of went to my neighbors, my mama. <laughs> and, uh. Let's get started. My name is Michelle and I'm the Redneck Crafter. Let's get started with the hat. I was trying to get it done. Well, in the bingo we'll go, it's a credit wearable. I said I want to be trying this pattern out. It's a yarn inspiration buffalo check hat but it was slouchy and it puts to be a poor man and you see how I mean no way a man could fit that well round here I mean the biggest head of my family can't wear this and I'm the smallest head of this family and it's tightened my head I haven't got filled ends I had a problem with the uh, uh, the brim. I used the dark color, but I like how it looked with how I did with the purple. Uh, I made the dark purple was emphasized, the light purple, light jasmine, and the medium color purple is uh, lavender, and this black and one is from Premier Just Yarn Worsted in black. As I think that's calling. Yeah, in black. Uh it's like I, said, I like it. Easy parent to understand. Only problem is beginners with it where I change color I had to carry the yarn and put where the um, behind the stitch to hide it but the what was it the last stitch where when you do you like your regular single crochet have the two loops on there instead of the um, uh, you finish the loop you curve the next color and finish the loop then you just do the like it regular and once again every time you hit the third stitch not quite finish the loop so you get the next color loop it through and just keep on doing that way but with this one I'm going to try to count how many rows and figure away the closest number I could decrease it with it and make a messy bun hat out of it. Alright. And the next thing I, done, I haven't got it done is this little doll here. I have made an American uh, holiday doll, so I thought I'd do a Halloween one. I was planning to make it into a witch, but I got sick and, and never went back to it. All I have to do is the hair. I'm going to embroider the eyes. You're supposed to use the beads and the embroidery lips. I think I'm about giving a, cor a corset, and I've got the arms done. And uh, so on there. And that's all I have to do with that. 
and my next one I want uh, to uh, fix a fancy uh, a poncho and I plan to use no particular uh, pattern I was just working out some theories I said just regular half W crochet around then I want to use the fires pattern for the bottom I figure out the repeat of this pattern so I could constantly do it to make it into a round which I have figured it out mm. I keep on dropping stuff I use a 5.5 line brand I9 crochet hook it works real well with uh, I, when I knitting I learned it worked real well with a slippery yarn like Kambu it is splitty yarn you have to be careful with that but you figure out how to work no problem and this is what I've got done and I'm uh, hoping to add some color to it as well Get her. Got this from Hobby Lobby. That mean is so sad. And I'm not sure how much color I will, I will add. Maybe the blue and the green to it. But I just sprung it over and when I decide I when it's I want to I'll change color, it'd be there for me to choose. From that back up burn and the uh, next thing uh, happened is that I hurt my shoulder it still gave me a problem but actually I'm moving pretty good is uh, first round you thought I would go back to the hat and get it done uh-uh I made a football from stringing ding ding. <laughs> Many people have praised her and she even put a book out and no catch your name Pamela Doran Crocheting. She got one and the little house mouse crochet. Oh sorry about that. Well, for some reason, I said, well, I'll try one of hers. Parent, because I've heard, you know, a lot of good reviews. So, like I say, I, I picked out the uh, uh, football pattern. Uh, I didn't put the eyes on it or uh, put the mouth on it. Because uh, it's going to one of my oldest nephews. He uh, moved away from here. His job is not able to have around here uh he uh i haven't made anything about it, so i just made that and send it to him uh, her pattern my mind where i have the learned disability had no problem with it it's similar to what i've already learned uh the only problem i, I i've learned this she said you you could use any decrease you want, but she said, I prefer you to use the invisible crocheting. A beginner will have a problem of that. You could find it on the uh, YouTube, no problem, and learn it that way. But what I learned, I was doing a pattern with uh, another project, and she had actually gave a good decrease 
uh, directions how to do it. And how you do it, like when you start getting ready to do the uh, increase, and you know, normally you put your hook in there, bring a loop, then you put in the next loop, bring a loop, then finish the decrease. Well, this way, the invisible ink decrease is you put your hook just through the first loop that's next to you that you are facing the project on then instead of, but you still don't like you do normal you know put through the loop you don't do that you just leave that loop on your hook then you'd go to the second stitch like you're doing a normal decrease of the two decrease you put through the first loop of that stitch same as you did the other one then now it's when the time you put it to, uh, yarn over through both of those loop and finish your decrease. That is how you do a invisible decrease. And it, it and it's she's right. You hardly see it. There are times if you goofed up, you have to go to the. Uh, beginning or to the one you you can able to find it doing its job you, you hardly see it then redo it that's the only problem you have with this stitch but it does what it does it decreases and you're hardly able to see it so there you go oh it's 12 minutes i still got one more two more things to show we'll end it here and i'll show you the other two and uh after a while this is michelle i'm the redneck crafter if you like what you see or as my uncle philip says if I ring your bell, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment if you want, and see. Uh, hopefully, I see you again. Bye bye.